The 10 o'clock news, this is Alan King. Alan There's only one thing worse than a frog, and that is a precocious frog. 24 hours a day, Red Rose Radio. Good evening. Three and a half minutes past ten, Bezik with you till two. Another week of Bezik gets underway. Aren't you lucky? Well, please yourselves. I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here, the room's pitch dark. Sinita and Toy Boy. She was on the pages, or one of the girls in Sunita were in the pages, not in the way that most females in that particular periodical are, but she was actually in there yesterday in the Sunday Sport newspaper. But that's no big deal, because I was as well. Thank you to Mum and Dad, it says here, for letting me go to France. Thanks to T. Walton, Fat Bob and Mrs. B for putting up with a French party for 18 days. And say how do to Tulip, Swinney, Sim, Faz, Evil, Eddie, Swack, Woody and the Mincer. And indeed everybody in the third year at Utton Grammar School from Jonda Honda. Bizarre name. Did you christen yourself? Dane, 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 Rabbit, 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 Dane, 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 Dane. Goes on a little bit, doesn't it? That bit boring. Hmm. Please say how do to Matthew H. of Preston and his brother Stuart and the two Mikes and Sean. That comes from Elaine Blanchard of Urban Road, Sale in Cheshire. Jive talking. I've got no comment to make about that. I've got very little comment to make about a present I got on Saturday when I was at Charo Kitchens in Chorley to Mr Bezik from Ray Dingley, Focus 10 in Chorley, whatever that is. You might wonder why I have no comment to make on one as often does. Well, the answer is it was a pair of Pink Panther boxer shorts. I don't box. Not much point having them if you don't box. Pink Panther boxer shorts, you wouldn't think they'd make them. You wouldn't see Muhammad Dali in them, would you? Please say a big how do to Big Al, Mental Mick, <laughs> Smelly Carl, Chippy, and Belshabek. He sounds Jewish. And that's from someone in Carnforth. I can't read it out very well. Preston North End Football Club supporters in Carnforth. Can't be a lot of them. How do Tracy Fussy, Claire, Ian, and Tracy's mum? And indeed everyone at school that we've left behind. Apparently they've left. And that comes from Holy Cross School. Particularly they want us to say how do to Mrs Evans, who presumably is a teacher, from Jussie and Tracy. I'm not a man to argue, so I've done it. Jake was sitting in Mindy's on Broadway and 48th eating cheesecake when the most beautiful broad he'd ever seen walked into the bar. <laughs> when she got up, he threw her a glance. She dropped it, so he threw her another. This time it caught her eye. How's this? Grab your doll face, dinner at Cellini's, back to my place for a nightcap, and you can have the pink one with the pom-pom. Then we can watch Dawn break over New York City. Stop being daft! We're living pubs here! Shut up and finish your 1080! 1080 double fermented cider for guys and dolls from Strongbow. the summer season we're pleased to bring to the Blackpool Grand Theatre two top quality shows. It's all happening at the Grand every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with the Gary Wilmot and Co. show with nine highly talented comedy performers, singers and dancers and backed by the Urban J Band performing a series of fast-moving comedy and musical sketches. It's all happening at the Grand every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The man who made the Germans famous in the Stan Boardman show with popular group The Dooleys and one of the brightest young discoveries of the past few years, Billy Pierce and zany acrobatic act The Loonies. Both shows are suitable for all the family and performances are booking at the Blackpool Grand Theatre box office. Telephone Blackpool 28372. It's all happening at the Grand
<laughs> well, seems to be stuff about a thousand years old tonight, doesn't it? Runaway. What was that other one we had before? Another revamped. What was it? I can't remember. Oh, right. It was the... Oh, good grief. I'm trying not to think of that. I was hoping I'd never think of it again. Lightning Strikes by Lou Christie. It was abysmal. Lots of funny letters this week. Some of them are very bizarre. This one was for Friday, but I've only just got it. Because what do you expect when you address it to Dear Sir or Madam, for crying out loud? Could you please play me a request on Friday the 10th of July for my fiancé, Kevin Beardsworth, from Exton near Chorley, who's 21 on the 10th of July, and he really likes their pet shop boys, and it's a sin. Well, we're not playing that for a start. I would be really grateful. It's from his fiancé, Sue Porter. Right then. I'll do to Paul Kenyon, whose name I wrote down on a bit of paper, and I can't remember where I wrote it down, but never mind, I wrote it down somewhere. And I'll do to Warren, Gavin and Gail of Chorley, and tell me, Dad, to let us listen every night. <laughs> I wouldn't want to become between a parent and his son. I would tell all parents who say my son listens to your programme that they should hit them with baseball bats. The only way to cure them. Say hello to Tim Phil and the lads at St Michael's fourth year, and a special hello to Leah Towers of Brinskull and Ian Moffat, the Black Radonian, and Gavin Roberts, who you tipped out of tipped out of a job with the trader, did I indeed? <laughs> Is he the one that was doing the deliveries? Well, we haven't got the trader, we've got the Red Rose advertiser. Why don't you apply for delivering that? They're still looking for people, I'm sure. How do to Chris Porter, Danny, Mickey, Razzle, Lums? Shawnee, all of them from Chorley, and will you play the Weddle Weddle Penguin song or Rollins Meat Pies? No, but Saudi Sydney's next. Right now, of course, it's what, 26 minutes to 11. <laughs> And of course, the telephone number is Preston 561000. The lines are open. Now, Rod is taking your call. And if you wish to join us, you can ring now. He'll, he'll have to give you a phone number so that he can ring you back. Preston 561000 is Saudi Sydney from Les Barker. Don't forget, if you, oh my word, he's starting again. If you want copies of Les Barker's record, it's an LP. It's got Holland's Meat Pies, Saudi Sydney. Ever know it? Oh, in fact, I'll tell you what it's got on it. Weddle Waddle Penguin Zoo. World famous, that now. Mrs. Ackroyd Rock and Roll. I've got an unch you don't love me as Merelda. Els Alsatians. Bones and Booze and Sex. They're all on there. If you want a copy of it, drop us a line. I'll tell you where you can get it from. Because I'm a good lad. Dear Al, please say a big how do to Paul Sage. Get a bit of funny in there, I mean, you can't have a bit of fun, can you? And Keith and Jason and Bev and Nicky and John and Mitzi the dog. Why am I saying hello to dogs? It's not the first time I've had to do it on this programme. How do to John and Tamzil and Yvonne. I met Tamzil on Saturday as well. I did quite well at the cricket yesterday, if you're interested. I survived F Freddie Truman's bowling without getting killed. That's an achievement, let me tell you. He might be knocking on a bit. There's no doubt about it. He is knocking on a bit. But he's still a bit nippy. How do to Norman and Bev and Kay Lee and Stephen. E. I met them as well. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I mentioned the cricket a bit earlier. I've got to say thank you to a chap who labours under the name of Thomas Foster of Osborne Road in Morecambe. And I'll tell you for why. Because he was our scorer yesterday. When I say he was our scorer, he didn't get any scores. He didn't actually make anything. He didn't get any runs. He just wrote down the ones that we did. Wasn't a big job. But he wrote down the ones that the opposition did as well. And that was quite an incredibly large job. What a girl wants. Quite a nice title, I suppose. What a straight, isn't it? I mean, that's a band. The company she keeps. Bog awful name. How do to Audrey Burnett of Westbourne Road in Lancaster, who sent me a plastic card. Thank you very much, Audrey. He says, sympathy. Never before in my whole life have I met anyone with as many problems and bad luck as you have. Your story has touched my heart. Now, whoop, whoop, off and stop bothering me. 
Lots of sympathy in your soul, Audrey. Thank you very much. I mean, the company she keeps is a strange name for a band, but they're just simply called Black. You probably can't name a band that these days. You've probably got to prison for about a million years. Salmsbury Avenue, Bisbam, is from whence come this lot. It is a lot, I know. How are you? I'm fine. That's what it says here. Sorry about the rubbish paper that I'm writing this letter on, but I'm writing in English and I've no other paper. This is taken out of my German exercise book. Why, why have you got your German exercise book in English? I mean, it doesn't add up. You go to a very bizarre school, obviously. Don't tell... Oh, dear. That's a bit late, isn't it? Don't tell my German teacher, Mrs. Barnes. Or is it Mrs. Barnes? And please play a request for me on Monday or Tuesday. And indeed for everyone that goes to Blackpool Collegiate, especially... Oh, good Lord, there's a list about a mile long. I'm not going through all that. I haven't got all night. What? Say hiya to Caroline and Kenny, who've been going out with each other for exactly a week. They've done very well. It's a bit dodgy saying that, isn't it? I mean, you must have written this at least last Friday, which suggests that it might well not have been lasted over the weekend. Never mind, it comes from Mel. Hello, Mel. Are you a female Mel or a male Mel? It's hard to tell. How do Alan Andrew Layton here? Will you please say a big how do to Tony Douglas, Barry Abbott, John Oryx and Louise Taylor, who's fancied by one of my friends. Oof. What is the world coming to? The programme is turning into a romantic moment. You can't be doing with all that romance on the wireless for crying out loud. This programme is not about romance. We'll have none of this sloppy drivel sent in. Enough! Unless it's about me. A man can dream 